Welcome to Gord Field here in Detroit Rock City, home of the Motor City Maniacs. Now, I see the Maniac fans are trying to get the fire wave going, <laughs> but so far just a small number of fires and mostly just on the upper deck. Yeah, they really stepped up security, Grim. In the men's room earlier, I only witnessed three random assaults and two of them were on me. <laughs> Not bad for gang day. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Lost Wages Invaders battle. The Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, hmm. uh, uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Oh, you idiot. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Picks up four on that pass and catch. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, with the punishing hit. Third down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Come on, man, you gotta catch that. I don't catch anything, Grim. I'm retired. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on MFL Game Day. Uh, MFL is... He is automatic! Nice kick! Boring. Just getting the... Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. I won't even have it. And it looks like the and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just put his team in the hole. He just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides, trying to mutilate the... It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? First and ten. And they're 
quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. Catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First and two. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! <laughs> As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. <laughs> The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. This guy's up four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Hey. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defense is... Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room straight through the uprights when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay and stumbling he could go all the way and it's first and ten oh man i love this dirty trick the quarterback unleashes off for the first down and this rep is definitely on the take that was a bogus penalty First down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Ah, the refs certainly take a lot of abuse in this league, Grim. And the fans sure love it. <laughs> They're like a pinata at a Mexican birthday party. Yeah, yeah.
First down and forever. And they went to the air and came up big. And that'll be second down and four. Stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Oh, I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. Third down and five. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. time like a jack-in-the-box bricks you never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow you just crap your pants junior and it's first and ten hot hot one hot two hot three. oh what a great defensive play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit yeah she does have a big pair grim you're right And he pulled out a chainsaw, and now he's slicing and dicing his way through the defense. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the waitress at the Boo Hooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. It was just a joke slam, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot and the crowd goes wild! Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond and he 
goes off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Grim. Oh, boy. That was equal parts great run and bad defense. And it's first and ten. point but you never know with kickers <laughs> the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself i'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring Seven yards right there. Second and three. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy. Third down and three. left in the half. Well, I can't wait for the halftime show. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. First and eight to go. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and five. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Third down and three. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room yeah. 
straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine yard gain. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. The quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim. Aren't we all. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's Max Stupsy time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum. And, and that'll be their final timeout. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And he throws that one to the sidelines. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. It's good. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. team after the game third down and long and that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play and out comes the most underrated position in football the mighty punter rainbow and it's first and ten hot, hot one hot two three. he's not going down 
If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll be second down and four. with the brain scrambler. Third down and three. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Boom! <laughs> and it's first and ten. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talk to the F. Oh, get the first down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Third down, and the punter is warming up. You know what they say, sometimes the best offense is a chain of... Two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Second down and nine. Hot. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Hot one. Hot. Second down and a very lot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And the defender just got cut in half. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that 
That is unfortunate. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. He caught it. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt but he seems to have worked through it. They're going for two points. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. Yeah, this guy looks kind of familiar. Yeah, he was in that 80s band. Men without heads, remember? We can dance if we want to. Not bad for a guy 100 years old. <laughs> He's aged better than Keith Richards. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. That'll bring up second and one. And he's running like a first down. And it's first and ten. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and mess. In some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. First down and six. A pickup of about three on that play. Second and three. Third down and six. And he runs it in for the touchdown. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean, stop them into the ground. Third down, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Went zebra hunting, and it looks like they got their trophy. Third down in forever. an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's bleak, Bricks. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the 
home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full of... Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? First and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! the extra point attempt. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. Hot. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Bring up third down and inches. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Kind of reminds me of that painting of Dad carving the turkey. Grandma, the whole family smiling. Except this dad has a chance on the turkey. <laughs> oh, open field in front of him. The ten. Oh, what a run there! Touchdown! No one was going to stop him. And they line up for the extra point. Hey. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. First and ten. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the... And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. First down and six. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. And that'll bring.
bring up second and one. It's the fourth quarter, and we're at the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go what? And that'll bring up second and one. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. Yeah, for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. First and ten. And that play went nowhere fast. No gain. And that's the last timeout. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Second down and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Third and two.
Hey man, nobody can touch you with eyeballs. I take all your mutants out. And say, hey, what you talking about, pilot? Huh? Britton Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.